Hey everyone, back at it with another observation for the evening and tonight I'm bringing to you the bane of some builders empanage builds, the trim tab. Now I'm coming to you not with wisdom from experience from our seven build, I'm coming to you with sheer grit from having messed up the trim tabs two times already. Let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. So here is a elevator trim tab and the plans have it so you need to build, bend these end little corners over. Now the plans also have you use this elaborate, you know, set of wood blocks that also has some double, double sided tape and bottom line, it doesn't work too great. The blocks actually slip near this aft side of the trim tab. And as you can see down here, this trim tab should actually be, the bend should be in alignment with this skin. This is this is slid in because the block slid in. And now it really, really slid in back here. So this is really, really messed up. And uh, like I said, I, I did it not only once, but I messed them up twice. So then I went to the internet, did some research, and how are we gonna fix this problem? I found some builders were using a piece of bar stock. So I went to the local big box uh, home appliance store, the aviation aisle of that, and found some mild steel. This is a quarter inch thick piece of steel bar. It's uh, an inch and a half wide. Came in a big long piece, but uh, I, cut a, I cut a piece off, drilled a couple holes in it because uh, uh, I'll actually screw this to the table to hold the sheet firmly between this and the table itself. Now, the other thing I want you to notice on the end of this bar, I actually ground this to a point. See how that's, that's ground down? And then on either side, I actually turned an edge over. Uh, that's so I don't get a really, really hard break line when the skin folds up over the side of that steel. And this taper is so it can get into the actual far aft end of the trim tab because it's already been built, uh, bent on the makeshift bending brake. Okay, so enough talk. Let's show you how this actually goes together here and see if we can not mess up another trim tab. We're gonna do this live here. So uh, let's get the get the bending or the trim tab here, and now I've got this set up so this is slightly over the edge, so it's hang hanging slightly over the edge of my workbench. So it's not there's no chance of you know getting any interference when I'm doing any bending. So that's slightly over the edge. I'm gonna slightly put these screws in. This might be a little loud. I got a hammer. A hammer drill here so this might be just a little bit loud I'm not gonna put them all the way in but we'll drive these in get them started and we'll leave enough space to slide that under and get it in position okay you can see that's already really really super tight which is what we want So then, we'll position this. Now this is supposed to be three thirty seconds. I got this double-sided tape on here. I wasn't sure if this was gonna help or not. But right now, there we go. Let's see what we're doing here. This edge of this steel is supposed to be three thirty seconds of an inch in from these little tabs. So I'm gonna stick this back in here and we'll see if we can get it get it in position here. Okay, we're getting there. Oops, sorry babe. Put the brakes on the table here. We need to 
There we go. Got the half side. Oops. Ooh, had it. There we got it. We need to make sure we were in a good position here. And I'll get my rule just to make sure we're at 132nd as per the plans. It looks just from a eyeball perspective, it looks it looks pretty good. But before we tighten it down, we'll make sure. Okay, what we want to do is measure inboard right there. That's 132nd. That's just a little bit more than 132nd. There we go, that's it. So now, what I'm gonna do is tighten these down and this will provide clamping force That one won't because the head of the screw broke off. We'll see, I don't know if that'll, if that screw there, if another one will set or... Nope. What I'll do, Thing, the screws really don't matter. Just want to make sure it doesn't move. That's why the wooden blocks were not working for me. Hopefully this clamp is just ah, it's just the just too small. Okay. Make sure this is clamped up close to. These quick grip clamps aren't the super greatest in the world, but they, they should work. Okay, that looks like it's all lined up. So now, what we do, we got a wooden block. And uh, it's a plastic mallet. So we gotta just be careful here. And we gotta carefully apply some, some pressure on this and bend this up, okay? I'm gonna just do a little bit by hand to get it started. See, that's bending up. Okay. Looks like the Steel is still in position, so that's a that's a thing of beauty. Get this aft side. There we go. to the point where I can tap the wood with the hammer a little bit and that'll make the bend tighten up. Make sure we don't net that top part.
Okay. Oops. Sorry, Ben. All right, let's take it out and we'll have a look at it. You can always bend it a little bit more by hand, but I think we have a successful bend here. And here you can see, I, obviously I don't have the steel off of it, but here you can see a successful bend. So this is nice and crisp here. And this edge of the trim tab is right in alignment with the bend and it's in alignment all the way up. So that is a, that's a pretty good looking bend. Now it needs to be bent just a little bit more. I can do that by hand here after the video as I work the other tabs, but uh, all in all I'm pretty happy with that. So. Uh, thanks for tuning in for this Rob's observation. Sorry this one was a little bit long and I had a issue with the clamp, but uh, hopefully that gives you some good tips on how you can conquer these trim tabs and hopefully that is the hardest part of the kit.